Hey there, you guys. Time to do my review for Green Arrow, issue number nine. And it was a pretty good issue overall, I must say. Um, the artwork was gorgeous. Like that was one of the first thing I noticed about it when I read it. I was like, wow, this is some really, really nice artwork. Um, and the story's pretty good too. Um, I'm liking this whole Island of Scar story that they have going on here. Um, we do a little block with Diggle, John Diggle. Um, we get a little bit more of the um, banter between Black Canary and Oliver, which I really have been enjoying a whole lot. It was one thing that I really had me latch on to wanting to read this story arc, even though I didn't read the last story arc. Um, and it's just overall, it's a, it's a really decent issue. Um, as you can try to tell, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't a whole. There was plot progression, but it wasn't like a whole, whole lot of plot progression. We just kind of moved from A to B. Um, next issue is going to be, I guess, them on a murder train or whatever. Um, so that should be interesting to see how that ends up going um, for Oliver and the gang. Um, it was nice to see Diggle in here. And obviously, you can bring in a little from the Arrow show. Um, got some Felicity references. Obviously, again, from the Arrow show, but it's still Green Arrow. It's still the Green Arrow of the comics, who we love and cherish a whole lot. It's not doing it, hoping the new P2 was kind of doing, when they were pushing away from the traditional Green Arrow and moving toward more of the movie Green Arrow, the TV show, um, which will turn a lot of people off of the comic book because they want, they want the original Oliver Queen who's kind of fun and cheerful. He's not, he's not dead. He's not as dark as many people would like to think of him as being. Uh, so anyway, I hear my thoughts on Green Air issue number nine. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.